All right, so we are now going to use file transfer protocol. We're actually gonna do secure file transfer protocol um, to get our files, everything on the server. So download Cyberduck and then open it up, open a connection and we're gonna do SFTP and your server is um, your username dot web factional.com keep the port the same and then Mitchell code or your username and then that password that we just reset go ahead and type that out uh, you can add it to the keychain if you don't want to keep enter entering it go ahead and hit connect and then we're gonna go into web apps and then MVP landing and notice the project folder is called my project we don't want to call it my project. Let's change it to source, just like we've done before. Uh, if it says, if it gives that warning that I just saw, just hit try again and it'll do it. And then we're going to call this MVP landing, just like our local files. So we want it to kind of match our local files as much as we can, um, just like that. So MVP landing source. Okay, cool. So there's a few things that we need to change in our local under MVP landing, I'm just gonna make this folder called live um, and I'm gonna bring in some stuff from it. I'm gonna drag all of these things in here. Oh, whoops, not URLs, just that, that, manage, pull that in. And then we are gonna grab um, lib, then we grab Apache 2, conf, and HTTPD. All right, now in Komodo Edit, that folder should have popped up. Open up HTTPD. Now we're gonna see here that there's these couple project folders here. We wanna change that, the first one to source, the second one to MVP landing. Uh, that's the same with up here. We want to change this one to source. If you only see one of them, MVP landing, that's right. MVP landing, source. And last but not least, that's okay. All right, let's save that. And then open up manage. And it's not my project, but it is MVP landing dot settings. Um, that is this MVP landing, and then it's gonna go into settings. Uh, okay, so you can close that, close that one. Uh, our settings file, we will worry about shortly, but it, it looks exactly like our other ones, uh, with the exception we wanna change root URL conf to MVP underscore landing. This to MVP landing, okay, open up this and change that to MVP landing not settings. All right, uh, now we want to set a database. So what we're gonna do is change it to a MySQL database. And then we wanna add a few more things here. Instead of name, we're probably gonna call it MVP landing DB. Okay, so that will be the name of it. And then we'll do user and let's call it MVP land as the user and then password, password, some, well, some password. Okay, and then change that to a cap, all caps. So now we need to create that. So let's go into into our um, web faction account, go into databases, databases, add a new database, and we called it MVP landing DB. So let's do that. Change this to MySQL. Uh, let's create a new user, and we called it MVP land. So let's do that, and let's make up some password. Uh, I'm actually gonna make it up here, so. We don't have to do a whole lot. All right. It's a nice and long, weird password. Save that. Cool. So now we have that database now up and working. 
Uh, looks like we've got everything else okay. Let's save it. So going back into here and also Cyberduck. Let's overwrite this manage.py file. Press continue. Uh, if it asks you to connect again, go ahead and do that. Then we're going to go into Apache, into the conf, and bring over the httpd file. Hit continue to overwrite. Let's go back into source. And we're going to put in those two files. Again, go ahead and overwrite. All right. So now with terminal, still connected. So we go, we can just do Python 2.7 because you have to type out 2.7 because that's actually what we're using. And then we'll do manage.py and then we'll do sync database. And it's syncing the database. It's going into our MySQL table and it's going to install. We want to have our super users. So absolutely say yes. And then we want to use a username. So I'm going to just use my normal one. And then my email address is here. And then let's put a password on it. You can put a more complicated password this time because it is your live one. Um, I looks like I made a mistake and I actually went into MVP landing my project. That is not what we wanted to do. So let's do that one more time and change into source. So we'll do Python 2.7 manage.py sync database. And it looks like it actually did do the right thing. Um, but for those of you who might have caught that that was the case. And then we're going to need to restart the server. So this is an important thing that only happens uh, in the live version is we actually have to restart the server when we make changes. So uh, a fast way to do it is just hit dot Apache 2 slash bin slash restart. All right, so now it's restarted. Um, we go into now programming for entrepreneurs.com. And I'm hoping that we have a Django application working. It doesn't look like, oops, I spelt it wrong. Program, programming for entrepreneurs. There we go. And we have our Django page working. Uh, as you notice, it is a test. And if we go to admin, uh, the CSS is not coming through, but that's because we haven't set it yet. Um, but we can log in and you can save your password, but look at that. So now we have our domain, we have our admin, we've got a lot of stuff going. We just need to now transfer all of our files over and set up our static stuff. And we will do that in the next one. And then we will finally launch. All right. See you later.